I realized I was playing the game without recording. I hit a button and a door opened. The end. You enraptured yet? Yeah, I hit this switch and just the doors open, so nothing major. How do I get those donuts? Not that. Just makes it easier to get around, I guess. What is it about these logs? I guess I need it to be on fire. But I want the donuts. I want it all. Is anyone there? Will the train move if I fill it full of logs? Is that what I'm to take from this? Because that's why I'm trying. If the logs are infinite, I know they're a puzzle item. Emily, that needle moves. Where are you? Which definitely suggests I'm right. Oh yeah. I'm thinking this is the right thing to do. Yep, they're infinite, so they are in fact a puzzle item. More still? Thought I go poorly. Didn't I have an arm a second ago? to life, damn you. It's not working. What if I threw another log in there, huh? Everything about that? Bet you didn't. Alright, it needs yet more logs. But, I'm getting close. Aw, oh, man, you bitch. Is that a timer? Is that the problem? And it's specifically time now that it, I cannot... Yeah, it seems like it's specifically time now that I can't do that again. What if I chuck the arm in there, huh? The arm come back? Nope. Well, I hope I didn't need that arm for anything. I mean, that a log couldn't also do. I could light myself on fire. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I need to do. Gotta light myself on fire, burn the thing, and then I can roll the train. Oh, hush, you. if I run this way and light things on from... It doesn't work. It's worth a shot, though. But yeah, it seems... Ah, oh, shit! Like, it's a bad idea to, uh... fall when you're on fire. Oh, no, I can't go this way. Well, there's so many donuts, though. I want the donuts. for the story, and the content, and the flavor, and the mystery, and the sweary. And, you know, they're donuts, they're tasty. God, I looked down, suddenly I was like, oh man, do I have to be at work? And it's like, nope, day off. Nice, lovely day. The best two words in the English language, day off. That probably won't light me on fire again. Anyway, now that it's burned... Gotta start cooking it again. I wanted to throw, not speak, but you do you, JJ. Hello. Oh, 
Oh, god damn it. I mean, this might be a good idea, actually. Hold on. That one, that one sucked, JJ. Yeah, see, I'm holding X and she's like, whoa, slow-mo. Don't just set it down, honey. Oh my god. You silly moo. It's just we need to protect you, and in order to do that, sometimes I need to light you on fire and cut off your limbs. Doesn't make a lot of sense out of context. Where are you? But I think you'll agree on this adventure. That is what I've had to do. And it's worked out mostly for the best. I mean, yeah, I could stand to do without the weird box cutter monster chasing our girlfriend, but you know, it's part of the charm of the island, you know? Who are we to come in here and say that's not what we wanted on our honeymoon adventure vacation extravaganza? And I fucked it up. I gotta throw more logs down there and do this again. Throw, honey. You gotta throw. I hate that I have to hold a direction to throw. If I just tap it, set the thing down. If I hold it, throw. Don't make me move the stick the direction I want to throw it if it's just straight forward. And let me turn around! God's sakes. Emily, where are you? And also, better tracking on that. Better near object pick up, not call for Emily. Particularly when there's like a beast around with a box cutter that clearly wants us dead. Like an established thing. Don't do that. There we go. Best puzzle ever. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not go near the flaming door, shall we? For the record, it's the best puzzle ever because trains. Hmm, now everything is shifted slightly. Excellent. Double excellent. Oh, fantastic. Now I can get you... I can crawl under there. Ah, the order of events. So tantalizing. Why donuts, I wonder? I mean, she clearly likes donuts, but... Why donuts per se? Why specifically donuts? Is Maine known for their donuts? Maine's known for its lobster and not having much else because it's fucking Maine. There's some precarious platforming here. Yeesh. It would be very bad if I fell to my death. I mean, generally speaking, that's true, but you know what I mean. Ah, oh, yes, this guy. Love this guy. Does this guy have a name? I'm gonna call him Sleepy Sammy. Sleepy Sammy gave us some donuts. Anyway, let's... Ooh, more cheats. What do we got? Costume Canary. She just in yellow? Oh! She's wearing black hair. Cool. Cute. I like blondes, though. Anyways, uh, more from these guys. Ahem. I'm so pissed. What's wrong? I have this friend named Sherry. She's one of those people who you can talk to... Who can talk to anyone. Good communication skills. I know what that's like. That's what's pissing you off. No. These stupid bitches in our class are calling Sherry a lesbian and laughing about it. That's horrible. Eh, she's a little touchy-feely, but she isn't a lesbian. And so what if she is? Yeah, pissed me off so much. I dumped coke on them. The drugs? Nice. Did you get in trouble? Who cares? Yes, who cares, to reiterate. I'm not going to stand by and watch while people make fun of my friends. Yeah. If someone thing does happen to you, I'll try and help. Cool. So reliable. Leave it to me. Meh. Still studying JJ? Nope. I'm helping Professor Goodman right now. Here we go again. JJ the sucker. That's not why I'm doing it. You're just wasting your time. Go to hell. Uh, I seem to recall you were 
taking on some assistant work as well. Better get done soon or he'll get mad. Nag. Although, I guess I can just have JJ the genius help me if I get in trouble. I wouldn't count on that. What the fuck? First thing you show me some good behavior. What's wrong with my behavior? Give me a plot of your land and I'll think about it. Ahem, you're nuts. Surely the king of money has a plot of land. He can just throw around whenever he feels like. What do you do in your free time, Jackie? Mm, video games. I like to go to cafes and antique shops. Pfft. Antique shops, cool. Perfect. Not only is it cool, it's perfect. You think? What about you, Lily? I play with Sebastian. Sebastian, he's my cat. Oh, cute. Yeah, do you like cats? I like cats and dogs, but, but animals don't really like me. Why not? I don't know. My grandpa's dog chewed up one of my stuffed animals once. Maybe I just have that kind of aura. What a catastrophe. Sebastian is a nice cat, so I'm sure he'll like you. Wait, you have stuffed animals? It was a long time ago. Like I'm seeing a new side of you. Who didn't have stuffed animals, really? I'm going to have to take some notes. Creepy notes? Really leave those on cliffhangers. Hello, Macfield. I'd like to ask you a question or to help improve my guidance techniques. Should I wear the red tie or the blue tie? Why did you de decide to study product design? Ah, okay, that's what she's doing. Well, I've always liked antiques and trinkets. I guess that sort of led me into the design world. What sort of trinkets? Clocks? I like how they look and feel, and even like how there are enough designs for everyone to have their own unique one. I assume she means like antiques and gear powered, not digital ones. I see. Do you have any goals for the future? Honestly, I have no idea. Yeah, I've been there. Still there. I see. It's certainly better to have dreams and goals, but forcing yourself to create them won't come true. Won't get you anywhere. No need to hurry in your quest to find them. Okay. And we. Up, oh, didn't die. We. Ah, oh, still didn't die. I'm amazing. I think that's it. Free to get the donut on top, and then proceed. I'll go this way. And right in the face again. You can't fool me. What's back this way? I bet it's Sleepy Sam. Oh, this looks like Sleepy Sammy's territory. Come on, Sleepy Sammy, don't let me down. Just a donut. Okay. Well, that was a bit of a letdown. Okay. Well, that didn't sound good. Am I going to get chased by the train? Aw, oh, man. You've betrayed me, train. What, you're telling the train to wait? The train's betrayed me. All my trust and friendship for trains. Just climb up on the bumpers, lady. Come on now. Oh. Yoink! Okay, that was easy. Can you hear her? Maybe. I don't know. Who's her? Please wake up. I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Oh, please wake up. Cardiac arrest. You keep saying cardiac arrest, Mr. Moose Doctor. Yeah, I should have just climbed up on the bumper. It'd have been a nasty, you know, kickback when it hit this, you know, stopper here. But you know, you're a leggy girl. You could have done it. Them legs. I'm not a leg guy, but damn, those legs go on for days. Let's be fair here. There's some impressive legs. Alrighty. Well then. Whee! It's nighttime again. Maybe it was sunset I was looking at. Sunset Overdrive. Ah ha ha! Game's not great. It's alright, I guess. Gameplay's fun. Insomniac's had better. I was playing Spyro earlier today. Recorded it, too. Which you... Hey! There's civilization down there! Which, if you watch my channel... Emily? Oh. Emily, no. Honey... Is this my dream? Okay, I'm gonna go. Actually, going would probably be is a bad idea. Your dream? Why does it sound like you're saying it backwards? 
Jackie Dimpson. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Why are you here? I'm hunting you. I should back up now. Or jump for it. That's a smarter idea, really. In retrospect, she she was the smart one in this relationship that of me, the omnipotent god creature, and her the player character. God damn it. <sighs> well, yep, yeah, there. Mm, that sounds. I'm not. What the hell? What's going on? Perfect 10. Thanks, Sweary. Uh. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. I need to get to Sleepy Sam, though, so... I might have already fucked it up. Unless you can kill me, Mr. Monkey? Yep, Monkey can kill me. Yeah, come over here, Monkey. Kill me. Jesus, who made that thing? Seems like a horrible creation. I can see neck being broken isn't great. Although the way it fucks with gravity, while creative and clever, it's obviously not how it works. That's not right. Oh, okay. Well, actually, I understand how it works, clearly. Can you get the leg back first, honey? Apparently not. No, no. Really just wanted the leg back. Oh, he's on a rope, too. That's interesting. Hair made it look like I had antenna there. Can you perchance come over here? He can. I still don't understand what the hell the point of this thing is. Ah, Sleepy Sammy. Sleepy Simon? I'm gonna say Simon, actually. Well, now I've trapped myself in a corner, haven't I? Let's read the phone. Ooh, more gallery. Hopefully less creepy things. Yep, there's Simon and... Front, back, side. He's Simon. Until anyone tells me otherwise, his name is Simon. This is all creepy. All very creepy. How very not good. Very just grim, dark. I dyed my hair. Oh, okay. Using the D-pad, not the control stick. Uh, dyed my hair. Again? What color? Purple and green. Sweet. And a little white. Very colorful. Let's come my own colors. Friends in our departments often ask about you. About what? About what color your hair is now? Tell them I have beautiful rainbow on my head. Roger that. By the way, what happened to Sherry? Oh, she stopped coming to school because of what happened. She reported to the school office? Yeah. They probably won't do anything unless the cops get involved. Yeah, I guess not. Just thinking about those bitches made me so mad I ran over to their rooms and started screaming in their faces. Heard there was a fight in the dorms. That was you? Just make sure cops don't end up coming for you. Don't worry, I'd never hit a girl. Okay. Cool. But Sherry's really depressed. Oh. Someone needs to tell those girls that there's something wrong with them, you know? Yeah, no one's gonna listen to me, though. Someone will eventually, maybe. But I need to find another way to get them to listen other than words. True. I never hit a girl. I mean, either Abby acknowledges that a girl wouldn't hit a girl, or is a guy who wouldn't hit a girl? I don't know. I'm just going by the name Abby. Maybe they're trans. I don't know. And they wouldn't hit a girl. Eh. Fucking, I wouldn't hit a girl unless she was attacking me. Like, if a girl came at me, and this is a true story, a girl came at me with, like, a pot, a clay pot that they were swinging around threatening to hit my head, I punched her right in the stomach. She had a look on her face like, oh shit, 
this is a guy who isn't afraid to hit the shit out of me if I come and attack him, which she was not prepared for. She was clearly used to getting her way because people were afraid to hit her. So that was a good day for me. Hey, did you watch my video? No. I knew it! What's wrong? My view count keeps going down. Fucking... That's not why you do it. You do it for the passion, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> wow, this that could be no key. My view count keeps going down. Oh, no. What sort of video is your most recent run? Shut off my room and reviewed new protein powder. Maybe need more fans. What should I do? Get a kitty or something? Ahem? No. People love kitty videos. Not me. Oh, maybe you just have bad taste then. Brutal. Looks like kitty is the only hope you have. Let me think about it. Tell me when you put a kit up a kitty video. Watch that one. Watch them all, damn it. Eh. I don't care if my friends don't watch my videos. I'd like it if they did. I talk shit about them in the videos, though. It'd be fun to get called out on that every once in a while, but the fact that they don't see it always kind of makes me warm and fuzzy. Jackie, listen to this. What happened? I was passing by the gym, saw an idiot. I thought that said toasting. Teasing a cat with his umbrella. That's horrible. I know. I went over and tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen to me. I don't know what to do, but then someone else came and stopped him. She had a nose piercing. Just grabbed his umbrella, broke it in half, and threw it away. I, think I might know who that was. You do? Yeah, alright. So Abby's definitely a girl who just says I wouldn't hit a girl? Odd. Yeah. I hate people who are mean to animals. They're inhuman trash. I'm gonna meow to let you. Uh, she worked hard on that. Getting heated up again, Lily. Sorry. They're the right thing going uh, in to stop him, though. Really? Yeah, I'm proud of you. Wow. I feel so happy I can fly. Nice. Hello, Macfield. What kind of films do people your age watch? Marvel. I'm not sure what to show in our next class, and I'd like some advice. Guys are mostly obsessed with superhero movies. As for girls, I don't know. Marvel. Still Marvel. That vampire movie series was popular for a while. I forgot the name of it. You don't watch many movies yourself? Not really. Honestly, I've never seen Star. I've never even seen Star Wars. What? Not a single film from the series? Yep. That's not good. Tragic, really. Professor, Star Wars greatly influenced the designs and appeals of all sci-fi films and followed it. That's true. Andro aliens and droids that merely appear in the corner of one scene of each have their own name and detail. Yeah, Lucas is insane. They're all designed in a special way to make them feel connected to our world somehow. No, Lucas is just a mad person. World Lucas created was truly great. Don't get me wrong. But the later entries of the series also displayed excellent balance and allowed them to retain their concepts of the original trilogy and the original atmosphere. No, because Lucas was allowed to write the story and Lucas can't write for shit. He's an insane person who doesn't know how to write. He just has a good idea every once in a while. I believe design of BB units. Oh, those. That's that's J.J. Abrams and I forget the guy that made the second one. Rain? Ryan? Uh, I can't remember. Um, They're not bad, but, you know... Rogue One was very good. I liked Rogue One quite a bit. Uh, the one that was basically the first one again, A New Hope, that was not great. It was okay, I guess. It was alright. Um, the most recent one, I thought it was kind of dumb, but I'm excited to see where they're going from there. It seems like the entire film was made in a sort of fuck the guy that made the film before me mentality, which is a odd mentality to make a film with, but it's certainly going places. Give it that. I, I'm very curious to see where this goes. I just think the movie itself had a lot of stupid moments. BB-8 unit in particular is no less than genius than that of R2-D2 itself, and that alone is a triumph. They made a ball with a hat on it. But they went a step further and also created a lifelike model that could actually be filmed right alongside the live actors. That... That's not a step further. They did that with R2. That's just expected. One of the greatest things about the Star Wars series is how it never really relies solely on visual effects. That is entirely what it relied on for the prequels, and they sucked. Creators go to great lengths to maintain special texture can only be gained from practical effects, except in the prequels. Wow. I'll let you borrow the box set. I guess I'll have to watch them all then. Prequels suck. If what you're saying swear is you like the prequels, I'm sorry, you're wrong. Those are provably bad films. Very rarely do you get anything that's provably... Like, you can point to this and say, there's evidence that this is bad. And the prequels are absolutely that. Alright, so what's the deal? Okay, I see what the deal here is. Kinda! Alright, hit me with it. You know, at this point, I'd give up on my girlfriend. I kind of draw the line at letting a monkey brutalize me like this. Push it, you silly, silly woman. Hey, 
Anyway, uh, now that we're up here, that's going to be it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I've been talking about Talk to Larry Schrodinger, Share, see you around Asklands. Prequels suck.